Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to root the Acer Liquid. So if you're not already there, head over to TheUnlocker.com, spell like that in the address bar, and then look for our how to root the Acer Liquid procedure. Just so you know, before you begin, this will give you root access, but it will also upgrade your phone to Android 2.1 firmware. Okay, now we need to download the Acer Liquid drivers, so we're going to click this and let it download. Okay, once we downloaded the liquid drivers, we're going to extract them. And then we're going to open it up. And if you have a 32-bit system, use x86. If you have a 64-bit, use 64. We're going to right-click it. No, no, we're not. We're just going to double-click the Acer Liquid Tool Setup. And then follow the setup wizard to install the drivers. Okay, now we're going to download the Acer Liquid 2.1 firmware. So you click on the link here and download it to your computer. Okay, after you've saved the .bin file somewhere on your computer, uh, we're going to download the Acer flashing tool. So click that and download that and save it somewhere on your computer. Okay, now we need to right click the uh, flashing tool. We're going to extract it. Then we're going to open it. Open it. And we're going to double click on the Acer download tool. We'll right click it and run it as administrator. And then we go to the next step. Okay, once that tool is open, we're going to click browse. And then we're going to look for the bin file that we downloaded earlier. Here it is right here. Click open. Should load it into the top text box here. And then we can go to the next step. Okay, next thing we need to do is we need to plug the phone in. USB. And do not mount it, just leave it plugged in like that. Okay, now back on our computer, we can look at the Acer flashing tool. It should say connected in green down here, meaning that it recognizes the phone. Now we can just click start. And wait for it to finish flashing. Okay, once it's done flashing, you'll say process finish. It'll let you know that you can remove the USB and you can click close app to close this app. Uh, and the phone should reboot. Okay, once it's done flashing, uh, you should be on the Android 2.1, the Nexus uh, version. And we're going to go to settings. Applications, development. And we're going to check USB debugging so that it's on and click OK. We can click home and put the phone in. Okay, once the phone's rebooted and you've selected USB debugging, um, you're going to download the superboot2.zip file we have there. So click on that and let that download. Okay, so now that we've downloaded that, we're going to right click it and extract it. And then we should be able to open the folder itself and go to the next step. Okay, now inside the Superboot 2 folder, we're going to find the reboot bootloader windows.bat file. We're going to right click it and click run as administrator. <coughs> it should automatically open and close and your phone should reboot into bootloader. Okay, now in the same folder, we're going to right click on the install superboot windows.bat file and run it as administrator as well and wait for it to finish. Okay, once it's done there, the phone will reboot. And then we need to right click on reboot bootloader windows.bat file again to get back into bootloader mode. Run as administrator. It should open and close. The phone should reboot into bootloader mode. Once it does, you can now right click the install recovery windows.bat and run as administrator again. Again, it should open, do its thing, and then close. And the phone should reboot. Okay, once you're done, the phone should reboot. You should be able to unplug the USB cable. And you're now at Android 2.1 with the Nexus launcher. You have a custom recovery image that you can load ROMs, and you have root access. So enjoy.